The three reasons why the narcissist disappears. Three reasons why they suddenly vanish without explanation. One minute you were talking to the narcissist and then the next they're gone. They don't bother to contact you. They don't inform you of anything. It's like you're dead to the narcissist. It's like you don't exist. And it may leave you wondering why. It may leave you wondering what is going on. It can be very confusing. It may occupy your mind. And it may distract you from other things that should be more important. So even though the narcissist is not in your life, it's still having an effect on you. It's still affecting your health. It's still affecting your work life. And you just want it to stop. But you know you're not going to get any answers from the narcissist. You know they're not going to clear your mind. Because that's just not what narcissists do. They want to leave you confused. They want to keep you guessing. Which is why I decided to create this video. To clear the confusion. To let you know what the narcissist is really up to. One, they found a new supply. This is the most obvious reason why a narcissist disappears. It's because someone else is occupying their interest. Someone else is attending to them. Someone else is giving them fuel. But it's not always what people think. Their supply doesn't have to be an intimate partner. It could be a friend or a family member. Someone who is there to listen to all of their problems. While they play the victim. Because that's applied too. If they have someone else to be their therapist, their emotional punching bag or an ATM, they don't really need you because that's all you really were to them. So whatever you were given to them, if they can get that somewhere else, they will disappear because they never valued you as a person. You never meant anything to them. They may have said that they loved you, but it was all a game. The only thing they loved is what you were providing to them. You made their life more convenient. You enabled them to do what they do. But narcissists are very manipulative, so it's not hard for them to find someone to take your place. Which is why they never valued you. Because they knew they could trick someone else. Just as they tricked you. When you stop giving in to the narcissist. 
there's really no reason for them to stick around because they know they can find someone who's going to buy into the illusion someone who's going to believe everything they tell them but it does it doesn't always have to be an intimate partner it could be a family member or a friend Two, they're plotting their revenge. When the narcissist goes into silent mode, it could be because they're plotting their revenge against you. Narcissists are very vengeful people. And if you rejected them or their proposals or ideas, it caused a narcissistic injury. It bruised their ego. It made them very angry. And now they want revenge. Now they're seeking to harm you. In return for their perceived injury. But they don't want you to know what they're up to. They want to stay in stealth mode so they can catch you off guard. They're just waiting for the right moment. They're waiting to catch you at a vulnerable state. Preferably when you're already going through something. Because that's when their return is going to have the greatest impact on you. Which is what they want. They want to see you suffer. They want to see you going through it. And when a narcissist comes back for revenge, they will go all out in an attempt to take you down. They will pull out all the stops to defeat you. When you were with the narcissist, it may have seemed like they were very lazy. They never wanted to help with anything. But when they leave, that is when they will make a very great effort against you. Because they're motivated by their own feelings of envy and jealousy. And nothing motivates them more. That's when they become really competitive. That's when they're most dangerous. When they're in that state of feeling like they've lost something. Or feeling the desire to take something from you. That's when they will do whatever it takes. Regardless of the effects it has on you or anyone else. Nothing gets in the way of a narcissist and them getting revenge. It is their priority. It becomes their sole purpose in life. Three. You're no longer susceptible to their manipulation. When you are no longer liable to be influenced by the narcissist, they will disappear. They're not going to stick around when you see through the illusion. Because it's like you're constantly holding a mirror in front of them. You're constantly forcing them to self-reflect. Which is very painful for the narcissist. They don't want to see themselves as they actually are. They don't want to be held accountable for anything. And they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions. So if you're constantly bringing things to their attention and you've set strong boundaries the narcissist will leave. It's too much work for them to get you under their thumb again. They're forced to accept that they cannot control you.
they could secure another source of supply with a fraction of the time and effort so there's no reason for them to stick around Narcissists need someone who's going to validate their false self someone who's going to support the illusion And if you're no longer willing to do that, they will leave and find someone else. Because that's all you ever were to them. You were just a prop. You were there to support their illusions of grandeur. You were there to make them look good. So that they could be the star of the show. But when you're no longer willing to be the cameo in their movie, that's when the curtains close. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.